Hello children! How are you today? I am here again for a meaningful learning on the subject English. We are now on the fourth week of the third quarter. Today, you are going to learn about predicting possible ending. This module is designed and written to help you listen to short stories, poems, and predict possible ending of a story read. After this module, you are expected to learn how to predict possible ending of a story read. Likewise, the following sub and supporting competencies give the correct sequence of three events and relate story events to one's experience. Look at the picture. Predict what will happen next based on the illustrations. Draw a line to match each picture. Predicting possible ending or outcomes means thinking what will happen next. Predicting requires guessing while reading and analyzing information and events in the story. Do you have a favorite toy? I know a child like you loves toys very much. So look at the picture below. Name each picture. Can you predict what toys belong for a boy and a girl? Draw it inside the box. This is Andrea. Just like you, she has also a favorite toy. Do you want to know what Andrea's favorite toy is? Listen carefully as your parent or guardian read the story. Andrea's favorite toy. Andrea has a favorite toy. She has a toy doll. She named her doll Lian. Every day, Andrea played with her doll Lian. Crack! Oh no! The doll's shoulder fell down. What do you think she will do with her doll? Let's find out if you understand the story. Write the letter of the correct answer on the blank before the number. 1. What is the title of the story? A. Andre's car B. Anna's favorite C. Andrea's favorite toy Number 2. Who is the character of the story? A. Anna B. Anton C. Andrea 3. What is her favorite toy? A. Apple B. Ball 4. What happened to her favorite doll? A. Broken B. Lost C. Burned 5. What do you think will Andrea do next with her favorite toy? A. She will throw the doll in the trash can B. She will fix the broken shoulder of her doll C. She will buy a new doll Look at the set of events happened in the story The first picture shows Andrea plays with her doll the second one shows Andrea's doll broken. And the last picture shows Andrea fix her toy doll. It is easy to predict possible ending or tell what happened next to the story by analyzing the events carefully. We may also use the information from our experiences. We can also predict possible ending based on the pictures, situations, and poems. Predicting possible ending based on the pictures. Look at the picture in group A. Color the pictures in group B that shows what happened next. Music 
predicting possible ending based on the situations or events. With the help of your parent or guardian, read the situation below, then predict what will happen next. Put a check inside the box. 1. Andre saw a ripe mango on the tree. He got a long stick. What do you think he will do with the stick? A. He will hit the ants on the branch of the tree using the stick. B. He will get the birds using the long stick. C. He will get the ripe mango using the stick. Look at the picture and arrange them to show the sequence of events. Write 1 to 3. For your first activity, choose the letter of the picture that tells what will happen next. Write your answer on the space provided. Predicting possible ending or outcomes is telling or guessing what will happen next in a story. You can make a guess by looking for clues in the story and understanding events in the pictures. How do we grow? Look at the picture from left to right. Arrange them in proper order. Write 1 to 3 on the blank. Number 1 is done for you. Predict what will happen next to the following situations. Write the letter of the correct answer on the space provided before the number. 1. Kian played in the rain the whole day. A. Kian will get sick. B. Kian will be happy. C. Kian will stay under the rain. 2. Riza eats nutritious foods. She exercises regularly. A. She will get sick. B. She will be a supermodel. C. She will be healthy. Three. Jolo got home from school. He got his pencil and notebook and sat on the table. A. He will do his homework. B. He will do a trick on the table. C. He will eat some cookies. 4. Mother cooked some delicious foods. There are many balloons and cake too. A. The children were noisy. B. There was a birthday party. C. The family was hungry. 5. Mrs. Mendoza gave her class a poem to recite. Cassie memorized the poem at home. A. She can recite the poem well. B. She can't recite the poem. C. She will be absent. Look at the pictures on the left. Then draw a picture and write about what will happen next. Draw and write your answer in the box provided.